my uh, onion crop woes continue today with a new one. Well, it's not a new one to me, it's actually quite a, um, It's an expected problem that I haven't had for a couple of years and I thought I kind of got away with it. This is affected by downy mildew. Downy mildew is a, 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 a potent pest on these plots. It's, it's a recurring problem, has been for years. And for years I've, I've done something about it. I'll, I'll tell you about that in a short while. Um, downy mildew has no organic method to cure the problem. If you were a chemical gardener, you couldn't cure it because there's no fungicides available on the market, only to commercial farmers. Uh, and the trouble with downy mildew is that these bulbs will not fully develop. The foliage will cut off, the fungus will down into the bulb, and it will waste your crop. So even though these bulbs here are not formed, I will have to pick these bulbs in order to use them. Absolute waste. Really is quite disappointing. Um, <coughs> there is organic methods you can take to prevent the problem, and I'll run through that in a minute, but let me just give you a close-up of the problem and how This is the typical, the top tip of the leaves go first, and you, you see this, I don't know if, it, if the camera will pick it up, but it's, it's almost like a grey mould on them. This is a good example here. Um, again, well, it's, the camera's picking up that better. But that's what the foliage, and at the moment it's, it's mostly the older foliage, but this will go down to the bulb and ruin the crop. Well, frustratingly, that. There is no bulbs here. I mean, that's a pretty poor example. But these, this is this is an onion that, without downy mildew, would make a perfectly good bulb from perfectly good soil, and you know it would it would fatten up lovely to a good size, lovely. But if 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 once the foliage is gone, it's no longer photosynthesizing, so it it defeats the bulb that way, and then the actual fungus itself so it's available for itself next year goes down into the root uh, it stays over winter and in the normal life cycle of a bulb it will then be expelled in this in the seeding process next year oh, well. so i have to take up all these now so what is the solution well this is that affected row and then I'll take you across to a non-affected row. Much better. And the reason these are not affected is these are Santero onions. They show very good resistance to downy mildew, and that's why I grow them. Uh, they are bred specifically for that purpose. They're going to make nice sized bulbs. Oops, leave footage in the way there. They're going to make nice sized bulbs. They're not too far off now, and as you can see, the the the, the, he, the foliage is healthy. Somehow, I managed to plant a small batch of them in here, and you can see they're they're all affected. And I come down up that line, and there's Santero again, unaffected. Just to throw a problem in the pile, a bit further down the line is a bulb displaying all the signs of having onion white rot early stages because basically it undermines the, the, the root the root allows it to tip and topple over and then that's that crop destroyed um, if you look in the, the links below i have covered onion white rot before and what i'm doing about it for the next year again it's finding solutions to a problem so this lot has been picked all the foliage must be dumped. Sad to say, it can't be harvested. The, fun the fungus is far too uh, pervasive. It'll do nothing but harm for future crops. So that's all got to go in the bin. Not the bulbs, I'm going to try and save those, but they won't really keep. 
frustrating. So thanks again for just joining me today from a very hot and sunny Plymouth. See you next time on a future video.